Yes, guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Tell you what, it's not a bad time to be a Newcastle fan, is it? Just one week into this summer transfer window, we've already had a whole host of links to elite players this window, elite centre midfielders that Newcastle are trying to bring in through the door. It shows the intent and it shows that Newcastle mean business before we head into our Champions League season. And it does look like our first transfer of the summer window could well be done and dusted in the next 48, 72 hours. As it's reported, AC Milan have accepted the 70 million euro that's right, some reports saying slightly less, but some saying 60, 65, 70 million euro for the Italian 23-year-old defensive midfielder, Sandro Tonelli. Wow. And it's thought that personal terms have also been accepted, being reported that he is going to sign a six-year deal with the club, keeping him here at Newcastle until 2029 with a wage um, of, well, 8 million across the six years with a two million bonus there's been a lot of discussions on the wages is he gonna blow us out the park is that gonna be way higher than bruno well eight million over six years works out at roughly a hundred and ten thousand and i think that's euros as well so comparing that to bruno who's reportedly on 120 ish but expected to get a, a rise this summer even with the two million bonus included that comes out at around um 140 000. so that would i think make him the highest paid player at the club so it's understood ac milan have accepted um sandro tonelli has accepted all we need now is that signature on the dotted line. I think uh, it's being reported by a few sources that they still want to work out the structure of the deal. Is that 70 million euros up front? I'm sure that's what AC Milan wants. Uh, it's probably not what Newcastle wants. So I think there's going to be a little bit of backwards and forwards on that one. But it's understood all that's left is a medical to be done and to be signed on that dotted line. So um, it could it could have been easier. You know, he could have been you know sat at home or even on his way to Newcastle already. No, um, Tonelli actually has a football match tonight. He will be captaining the Italy under-21s as they take on France in Romania for the Euros, uh, under-21s Euros. So I'll tell you what, uh, there's probably a plenty of Newcastle fans who probably wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have bothered watching that game. I've got a feeling there will be quite a few Geordies turning on their telly tonight and scrolling around and looking for that game. I actually looked into it before I came and did this video. I'm not sure that it's actually broadcasted in the UK, uh, but... I believe you can go on UEFA.tv online or on your phone or on your iPod, UEFA.tv. I think they are showing the Euros under-21s game. So if you want to see Tonelli in action tonight, see what Newcastle could well be getting through the door very, very soon, go and take I'll be watching it. <laughs> I'll have it on. I, I can't wait to see the guy in action before he's even got here. And then I'll tell you what, get him in quick because we've got a, a friendly over the river against Gateshead in a few weeks' time. And pre-season is due to start in a few weeks' time as well, so it would be great to have him in the door, have him available with the side, and I suppose it depends how far he gets with the under-21s in this tournament. I mean, Anthony Gordon is also representing England in the under-21s as well, so who knows? Maybe we could have a, another England-Italy final, except, um, and then it'll be Gordon versus, uh, Gordon versus Tonelli. But yes, very exciting. So what's happening then? If he's out in, um, if he's out in Romania, how are we going to get this medical done? Well, it's being reported right now that Newcastle staff are actually on their way to Romania to try and have the medical done either this afternoon or tomorrow morning so that it can all be done and dusted remotely. That's the thing. That's the, the slight worry that's still um, getting on my back a little bit is the fact that because he's away, we haven't... We're, we're, and it's fine, you know, people can move. We can get the medical staff to go out there. They will have the facilities there. I'm sure they've got pen and pen and paper there as well so that he can print off his contract and, and do his signature. So it's not a big deal. Um, but just because he's got football matches going on at the time and because it's not being done in Milan and it's not being done at our medical, you, you just have that slight, is it all going to be all right? But all sources are saying that things are ready to go and it is literally just that. I mean, the club's agreed it and he's agreed it. So if, if that's the case, all we need now is to just get the formalities out the way to get the medical done, to get the signature done. And then we could have him wearing his, 
Newcastle top after the game tonight. Who knows? Get the medical done this afternoon. Have him finish the game against Italy and walk around with his, his black and white scarf. You never know. But it's big. I mentioned it at the start of this video. It shows real intent from Newcastle United that we aren't going to mess around. We aren't going to wait on teams to decide, well, we'll want 45 or maybe we'll want 50. I do think that's partly why Newcastle have gone in quite big with the bid. To basically go, yes, right, yeah, that's how much you want. Let's get it done. Let's get it dusted. Let's not have a, a whole summer of back and forth on how much the costs are going to be. Um, and I think that is a little bit is what's been happening with Madison for, for some time now. And I know the fans love Madison. I would love still to see Madison come through. And there's still huge reports that Newcastle aren't done there. A lot of the reports have been that we want two elite midfielders in this side. Tonelli would be one. Who's, who's number two going to be? Pete Greaves from Sky Sports actually did a video last night where he spoke about the fact that as much as he would like to see Madison get done and dusted, he actually thinks that Newcastle will turn um, to Subozlai instead. That's another player who's been heavily linked already this summer window. I think a lot of Newcastle fans would be excited to see him through the door as well. And he was pretty much going off the off the same hymn book in the fact that Newcastle don't want to wait around. They don't want to have to get an attack by leaves again. Uh, in this lovely sunshine, by the way, I mean, it's all great today, isn't it? Uh, it's um, not wanting to wait around for Leicester to decide this or decide that. Shabozlai, well, first of all, and you know, Madison is, is at his peak, isn't he? He's, what, three, four years older than Shabozlai, three, four years older than Tonelli as well. It's not to say he's old because he's got his whole career ahead of him and he would immediately... He's, he's, he's Premier League proven, he adds goals, he does so much. You know, Pete Graves went on to talk about the fact that Shabozlai does have you know, four years of age on his side. I think that Madison would probably be looking for a, a big wage boost. You know, he's going to come in, sign a three, four year deal, that takes him to 31 years old. You know, I think Shabozlai still has a lot of years in front of him where we can get him on a similar to Tonelli. 100 years, 100,000, 110, 120,000. You know, it's not breaking the structure. It'll... It'll fit in nicely with where Newcastle are as well. And he has a release clause. He has a release clause of a room at 60 million euros, which is said to have to be triggered before the end of the end of this month. So it does put a little bit of pressure on, but I tell you what, get Tonelli done in the next two, three days, and then get Shabozlai done before the end of next week. And that's two elite players done and dusted before we start pre-season. I don't want to get too carried away because we still need to see Tonelli holding his black and white shirt before I can truly throw myself into this one. But it sounds good. I mean, at, at the end of the day, if every party's agreed, and from what the reports are saying, we just need to get the get Ashworth out and get the, the medical team out to Romania. You know, he's an hour before kickoff, he's in the in the referee's room or in a secret side room somewhere signing contracts and getting his medicals done. Uh, it's big and it's moving quick it would not surprise me if there's more spoken about this later on this evening so if you're not subscribed be sure to do so trying to keep you guys up to date with everything Newcastle United I tell you what it's going to be a good summer uh, so you don't want to miss out thank you for watching guys as always let me know your thoughts on Tonelli down in the comments below do you think Newcastle will move for Shabar do you think they will move for Madison or are we just going to you know, keep our minds on, on the one that's in front of us for now and we'll get on to the next one very soon. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As always, drop a like, subscribe, enjoy your evening, and I'll catch you later.